Today, I'm sharing one of my biggest secrets and prompts specifically for writing, creating titles, content, and stories. I'm giving you two. So let's head over here into my mega prompts database. Now, I know a lot of you are used to seeing this database specifically for all of the AI images. However, today, what we're actually going to do is we're going to go all the way over into these two tabs up here at the very top, social media, YouTube, and also writing and content. Any prompts I share and feature in any of my YouTube videos are always available completely for free via the links in the description. In addition to all of these databases as well, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom. And here is the first one we're going to start with, but they can be used for anything when it comes to titles or any sort of content writing. So here is the original, the OG right here. Okay. So what we're going to do specifically is I transformed it a little bit and I made it more generic specifically for titles for any form of content. And that's the one right here. Then after this first one, we are then going to head over to the writing and content one and go to one for specific paragraphs. Okay. The second one is going to do the same thing, but instead of really focusing on and assessing a title, it's going to take a full paragraph and completely make it 10 times better because you no longer need to get that writer's block. So let's go down here and copy this first prompt right here. Okay. This is going to be the first one. If you have access and can use two LLMs, I highly recommend that. So for the first one, let's go ahead and paste in the prompt over here in Grok. Now, right after you paste it into your LLM, the first thing you want to do is not hit enter quite yet. You need to first provide a very generic sort of a title. Now, what I do is use a tool like Airtable. In fact, my prompts databases are housed in Airtable. I use Airtable for almost everything. Now, I built an interface. That's why the view looks like this. I have a selection to add specific titles. And then in each of my rows, I can rank my titles based off of the LLM. So this is ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Grok, etc. So I'll first come up with a very basic and generic title. I'm not going to worry if it's not good. The whole point is the 10x every single title we get. Okay, so now I have three very basic titles. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy each one just like this. Now we can come back over here into the first LLM we're going to use. There it is in Grok. Now I went ahead, you could see I pasted in the full prompt and then my three titles are right now below it. Okay, now before we hit submit again, go ahead and copy this whole entire portion. Here's the reason why. First, go ahead and submit this now in Grok. You could see it get to work right away. And now we're going to come over here in chat GPT and paste the whole thing in again. We're going to have three LLMs going at the same time. So now here's what we're going to do. Now we have chat GPT opened up right here. Let's go ahead and scroll down and look at the scores we got. Now, these are my three original titles right here. They didn't score very well. Six, five, and seven. And now what we need to do is actually put in the score that the first LLM gave us. Six, five, and seven. Okay. Now let's quickly take a look and see what Gemini and Grok gave us. Here we are over here in Gemini, and this gave us something a little bit better. We're going to get seven, six, and eight. So now what I'll do in the corresponding column, I'll go ahead and enter those scores as well. Seven, six, and eight right there. And now we're going to have one more specifically for Grok. So let's switch to Grok. And now it looks like Grok is going to give us on our original ones. And now in these columns, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing six, five, and eight. So we get a good variety of different titles. Here is where things really start to improve. Now we're back over here in chat GPT. Now let's scroll down and look at the 10 other titles all rated on the scale of nine to 10. We're going to have these right here from chat GPT. We're then going to scroll down and have 10 more over here, all rated nine to 10 over here in Grok and the same exact thing. Here we have it over here in Gemini as well. 10 titles over here. So right off the bat, we're going to get 30 new and improved titles, all rated nine or 10. Now, what we're going to do next is now specifically out of those new 30 titles, choose about three, five, or even 10 more, just some ones that really stand out. What we're going to do is just simply come in here and copy these three right here. Okay. I won't keep going back and forth to all the LLMs. I just wanted you to understand how this process works. So now what I did was now I came back in here into my Airtable database and now pasted these three in right here. Okay. Now, after they've been pasted in, copy these three now. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is come back down to chat GPT and type in this. 
How about these question mark and now paste in the three versions that chat GPT just gave you. Now, remember now what it's going to do is going to take the three titles it gave me that were scored nine or 10. Now it's going to take those and give you 10 more that are even better than those. See that? Look at all these right here. It automatically gave me about 20 more. So now we're already looking at 50 amazing titles that we can use. Okay, so let's make believe we went through this and we really narrowed it down and got our perfect title. That's just the very beginning of your story or your article. Now it's time to take that title and get the perfect sort of article. Take any form of article, story, or paragraph that you have. Now let's make that 10 times better. Better. Okay, so in order to do that, let's go ahead and start with a brand new chat in chat GPT, okay? Which now is going to bring us to the other prompt I'm going to share with you. We're going to go to the writing and content one, and this one is specifically a paragraph generator. Now go ahead and copy this whole entire thing like that. What we're going to do is paste this in first, but we're not even quite done yet. We're going to do this in two ways to really make your article or paragraph stand out. So what I'm going to do is show you two more prompts. I know I said originally two total. I'm going to go ahead and make this three and give you a bonus version. Now, I already have this one over here. This is considering the fact I already have a written paragraph. But what if you don't? What if you have a good looking title, but you need a paragraph for it? So let's come over here and choose our specific title. We're going to go with the middle one right here. Warning, this prompt might make your headlines too good. That's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is come back over here into our mega prompts database and we're going to select this one right here. You are a title and paragraph expert. Okay. So with that in mind, at the very bottom, I'm going to say, here is my title colon, and now put in my title just like that. Now let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing. Go into chat GPT and now simply paste it in. Here it is. That will be if we don't have a paragraph. The next one we're going to do is this one right here to completely revise and 10 X our current paragraph that we wrote. But first let's go back over here in the chat GPT and see what this gave us. Here we go. Here are five irresistible engaging paragraphs, all relevant to my title. Okay. We're going to get this one right here, this one right here, and it's going to give us five amazing ones. Awesome. Now, the way this is all going to work in conjunction is one of two ways. Now we have an official paragraph that's going to match our title perfectly. Now that is where we can come in here and now grab this paragraph one and make it 10 times better. Now, again, copy this one. And remember, let's keep everything else in mind. This is going to be my paragraph expert. We're going to come in now and paste this one in and first let's go ahead and choose a paragraph and to start let's just go ahead and go with the first one it gave us we're going to go ahead and copy that go back to our second chat and now paste this in now remember this is going to be the one to improve our articles or paragraph based off of the original one. Now we pasted this in. What we're essentially doing is we're using AI to do everything for us, create our title, create our article and paragraph, and then we're going to use AI against each other. We're going to make chat GPT improve or 10 X the paragraph and titles it gave us to where we ultimately land on the best paragraph, article, story, or title. Okay, and now there we have it right there. Immediately it says, thanks, Eric, your paragraph is strong, but let's break it down and dial it up even further. And it even gave me a ranking. Here's my original one. Now it gave me an eight out of a 10, which credit the chat GPT because it is the one that wrote that. Scrolling down, what can be better? What's great? 10 upgraded versions. Here we go. And you can see it gives me better ones. However, they are going to be a little bit shorter. In fact, they're going to be much shorter. So what you want to do in this case, if that happens is scroll on down and now say, okay, I specifically like number five. Okay. What we're going to want to do is down here at the bottom, say, I love number five. Now make it a complete paragraph and much longer. Now, just like that, we're going to get exactly what we were looking for. There it is an expanded paragraph right there. Beautifully done. So just like that, we have three prompts. We're going to have our titles. We're going to make our titles better. If we don't have a paragraph, we're going to create a paragraph based on our title then we're going to take that paragraph and make it even better. Now, here's the catch. Before we wrap this up, the last thing you can do is say, great, I love this paragraph right here. Let's copy that. You can open up another window yet again and now copy this again 
the paragraph one and now take that full paragraph and 10x it over and over again. Now, if I come back over here in the chat GPT where I do have this long paragraph right here and say I really like it, I can do one more thing to wrap this up. Now, here is the final piece right here. Great. Now, provide a follow-up paragraph to that one. Let's make a full story based on that paragraph. Give me three more that flow well together. Perfect. So what we're going to do is go from having a bland, horrible title to a better title to no article to a great article. Then we're going to make that article longer. Then we're going to go from one article to more and more. Now we have four more. Paragraph one, two, three, and four. And it's all going to flow together. See, instead of having just one big paragraph, we're going to start with this paragraph one right here. And it even says that the setup, you already approved this one. It takes that original one. Then it gives me the spread, the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one over and over again. Now, the most important thing, the questions you're going to get asked. Let me know if you like cliffhanger ending for part two, landing page version, lead magnet short form for twitter or linkedin amazing now to wrap it up i'm going to say lead magnet and short form for twitter just like that i'm going to go from having nothing to a full paragraph better titles a full story and now short form and lead magnets. This one simple prompt split up into a few different ways to craft it specifically from titles to articles to full stories is gonna be such a godsend for you. So let me know in the comments below what you thought, what you use this prompt for, and remember, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. But until then, we'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and many.